morning everybody i hope you are all doing very very well i've been feeling a little bit low today and i don't really know why well i do know why um yeah and i've been trying to do things this morning which are going to put me in a positive mood uh one of them is vlogging vlogging always puts me in a better mood just because i feel like i'm doing something i have decided to vlog this morning even though i really wasn't supposed to um i also went for a run this morning actually and um sometimes you don't like right now it's already too hot to go for a run outside even though it's still the morning so i can just go run in, in the garage and <laughs> and release some stress and also hopefully gain some endorphins. I'm just doing my skincare routine this morning. I've washed my hair because I went for a run and I'm just doing my skincare. So I thought I would do my skincare with you this morning, go and grab some breakfast, even though, gosh, it's probably time to get brunch now. Um, and then I have a bunch of editing to do and things to send off for approval. And then once I do that, I think I'm going to go get my nails done because I just want to take it easy today. I just want to take it easy today. I'm going to do all the things that I need to do um, in terms of work, but I really need to go get my nails done as well because, gosh, they look tragic. Anyway, skincare. I have already put on this vitamin C serum. It's from Trini London. It's amazing. Do you know what? I'm going to put just a little bit more. I'm just going to put that much more on. I've already put like... I already put some on. This is the most hydrating, moisturising vitamin C serum I've ever used. And then I think I'm going to spray some of this on and then put my moisturiser on. So this is the Dermalogica um, Hyaluronic Mist. Hyaluronic Ceramide Mist. I haven't stopped using this. This is a go-to product in summer. I used it on holiday. Actually, I had a mini one. As I'm letting that sink, I'm just gonna kind of have a little bit of heart to heart with you. I never know. I never know how much to share on the internet, and because you don't really know who's watching. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling just usually on a Monday after a weekend. I am, you know, in the mood to film content and put things together, I'm feeling creative, but I feel really flat. And I spoke to other content creators and I feel like everybody's going through a weird flat season right now. And just kind of, it's, it's frustrating because the platforms, even though I'm a content creator and I do it all myself and I work with brands independently, um, obviously I rely on platforms to get my content out there. It's just hard to get motivated to create content when your content isn't even reaching your audience. It's just really demotivating. It almost feels pointless. And I've seen other people being like, oh, I've gone out and I've taken pictures and I've created content, but I'm not gonna post it yet because the algorithm's doing this or the algorithm's doing that. Or, or there's this update where you just don't know what to do and what Instagram expects you to do and what your followers expect you to do. Yeah, and I just, I don't feel motivated to create content. I don't feel motivated to post anything. The whole reason why I create content is to reach people and to connect with people. It's all about the people who are watching it. And when the people who follow you aren't even seeing your content, the reach isn't there and the engagement isn't there. What's the point? yeah that's how i'm feeling right now i'm gonna pop some moisturizer on love this as well this is the niacinamide moisturizer and it's supposed to be energizing and oh lord i need that i really need that today The last couple of days, I felt like my skin feels softer and plump. And I'm just trying to think, what have I added into my skincare in the last two days that isn't normal, that isn't part of my usual routine? And I know exactly what it was. It's just, I've had a light bulb moment. In my previous skincare routine, you guys would have seen that I used the Estee Lauder Night Serum 
serum <laughs> and I ran out of that I think I bought it off ASOS or something I bought like the smallest one tried it out for like a month and a half loved it but I hadn't got around to repurchasing it anyway I got a brand new bottle in PR and I started using it the last three days and that's why my skin feels incredible it's this stuff here you know the Estee Lauder night repair it's one of those things where I don't fully understand how it works but it works next thing is of course SPF there we go SPF that of course that didn't focus because my camera is just loving this SPF I'm using quite a generous amount because I'm going to use it on my neck as well I also got another one of these in PR and I do not know where it is and I'm a bit worried about where it is because I took the bin out yesterday and I'm worried that I might have binned it oh my skin honestly it might not look that smooth or whatever online on camera in real life it feels like a baby's bum and yes i do use spf 50 every single day because skincare i also don't sit out in the sun because i mean that would be pointless really wouldn't it that's kind of how i'm feeling this morning i'm feeling like creating content i'm feeling demotivated I'm not in the mood to create anything. I have no ideas and even if I did, I just feel like what's the point? And to try and get myself out of that mood, I am trying to exercise because that always helps. Um go go for walks more, eat healthy and vlog. <laughs> even though I'm speaking to myself, my vlogs are my it's my favorite content to create because it feels just it feels genuine, it feels real and raw and in the moment um yeah also this is what i'm wearing today t-shirt my wig <laughs> oh, i'm just gonna leave it there t-shirt is primark and then shorts are of course lululemon of course breakfast is made let's go back upstairs and let's crack on with a bit of editing i might put you on a time lapse i don't know it might be really boring I do apologize <laughs> we used to be the team people talk about what a chemistry i can see it in your eyes you don't want to talk anymore i want to get so numb want to get so numb while we enemies good morning everybody I have just been for a run, done a little bit of editing and I'm ready to go into town. I'm not sure whether I'm really going to vlog what I do in town because I've got some returns to do. I have a pair of, I have a pair of trousers which I need to send off to be repaired. Um, yeah, I'm just running a few errands whilst I'm in town. I'm also thinking I might change my nail colour and just do a solid colour instead of the pattern. I'm not feeling the whole pink and blue thing. I don't know, just... I'm just not feeling it. So yeah, I'm going to show you all my outfit of the day um, and just kind of run through that. All of my jewellery which I'm wearing is Monica Finida. There we go. My necklace is Misoma. Um, I've actually, for some reason, for some reason I can't find my Monica Finida necklace. I have no clue where it is. Um, I need to, I need to look through because if I can't find it, I'm going to have to buy a new one because that is literally one of my favourite necklaces. All jewellery is Monica Finida. I've got my Amazon watch, which tracks all of my steps. And yeah, I'm on a bit of a health kick at the moment just because, well, I can't tell you why just yet, but yeah. <laughs> Perfume of the day is going to be my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. bag of the day is my LV Noe. So this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing this play suit from Zara. I think I've had this for maybe one or two years. I think. Let me just show you it without the bag. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's a really nice, it's a really nice uh, play suit. Um, it's like, it's like linen blend. I have steamed it, but it still looks a little bit crease, so I can't really help that. Um, yeah love it and then my shoes are these sandals from jdw and then of course i have my bag so yeah it's just a full brown look <laughs> it's 
been four weeks since you called And I've been waiting here for you all along I've been waiting here for you all along Where you been? Where did you go? I wonder if you found what you're looking for Wonder if you found what you're looking for I hope it's not too late I want you back here with me We never should have said It's better this way I'd rather be with you Than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living In two separate worlds Come on back to me Say that you won't go I can't cope without you And I want to hold you close Say that you I was in a massive rush this morning So I couldn't show you my outfit But this is what I'm wearing today Hopefully you can see it I am just in Knightsbridge and I'm going to have a look around the Howards because I have some points, like quite a lot of points actually. Um, after I bought my Chanel bag, I um, acquired quite a lot of points. I'm just hopping to a few shops on Sloan Street. I'm going to have a look around there. And yeah, um, the food was really good. Yeah, so um, the food was really good. Not too heavy. Um, but filling as well at the same time. So yeah, I'm just gonna look around the street and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Well, I wanted Raquel to say bye to the vlog. To the camera, yeah. Yeah, and we had a really good day today. We did. Honestly, it's such a good catch up, talking about YouTube, creating stuff, and we're just both really excited. Yeah. Got loads of goodie bags, don't we? Yeah. Two, loads, two each. Two each, loads of goodie bags, um, which I'll unbox when I get back. But yeah, say bye to Raquel. Bye, you guys. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Yeah, I'll, been speaking I'll about link clubs. Definitely, we're going to be collabing. And um, I'll link her channel in my description box. Definitely go and check her out. She creates very similar content to me. So, yeah, check her out. And vice versa, I'll be linking you. But we forgot to say that on my bloody vlog, didn't we? Fine, but you're... they know, I'm the yeah. link queen. I exactly. will always link people. So. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. Mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next. To me, trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. Oh, we were meant to be. So just sit. Into the morning building chemistry. It's so so hot, I'm literally melting. Um, you may recognize this outfit from my QA, which I've literally just filmed. And now I'm gonna finish this vlog. Um, but yeah, I'm melting, like I'm melting. I'm so sweaty right now that my wig. No, I'm not even gonna go there. We're not even going there. I'll show you the amount of things, show you the amount of things that I need to unbox here so many things a few things which i've bought and uh, and some things which i just need to unbox so let's just quickly talk about london and how incredible that was oh 
it was amazing okay it was i had such a good time with at the event at the beauty show event met so many incredible brands i actually met a subscriber and um, tommy she so she was so lovely oh my gosh she was so lovely and yeah i went with raquel which i'm sure a few of you guys know um she's so lovely we had an amazing time um just to, like chat with her it's always good to go to these networking things with people who you bounce off of so when you're speaking with brands you can get ideas from each other and i felt like me and raquel went in there and we were asking good questions we were bouncing off of each other it was just great it was just great and yeah hopefully you're gonna see her soon um yeah and overall i had a really good time i was only in london for a few hours just for the day um but yeah i'm now back home and gonna finish this vlog but we have a huge unboxing of things i've bought things that i've been sent so let's just crack on let's do it let's do it i'll start off with this box actually because i've already unboxed this on my instagram however i'll roll the actual true unboxing here pollen <laughs> i absolutely love pollen paris uh, i absolutely love pollen paris they're just one they're probably my favorite contemporary luxury brand their styles their designs i love okay and this is what the box looks like I love their boxes. I wish I could keep them, but I tend to just recycle them just because I don't have the space to keep every single box. Honestly, their bags, <laughs> honestly, their dust bags get me just as excited as the actual bag. I use their dust bags for other bags, for like my more expensive bags from Chanel and brands like that, because these, because these dust bags are much better quality than the ones from chanel or any other brand honestly i've never felt dust bags so soft and beautiful so the bag i've gone for is this little beauty oh my gosh wow okay oh my gosh how beautiful oh yes so i have to look this way because there's no, that's where the natural light is coming from. Oh wow. I love her. Yes, yes, yes. So the bag which I've gone for is the Pollen Numero 9 Mini. I think I've said that correctly. So I actually have a bigger version of this. I'll show you that in a second. But I really wanted a white bag, like an off-white bag that I can wear in summer. Something with a top handle, um, not too much branding, and just um, I just love this. Like I love this design. I love the pleats. I love the pleats here. It looks like a little dumpling. It's so cute. This is the larger version, the original version, uh, in this beautiful camel brown colour. It's so stunning. This is my favourite London bag. If I'm going to London and I want to pack everything with me, I always use this bag. Because I know I love this bag so much, I also thought the white one is just going to be perfect for, um, again, every day. This is what the bag... Let me just focus on that. This is what the bag looks like close up. So you can see the beautiful textured leather. There we go. Let, let's do the first box. The first brand which I'm going to be talking about is a brand called Inica. So I got quite a few products from the brand. I'll show you it here. Can you see that? First product I got is the day cream. So this is the day cream which I got. Inica, the brand, is all about pure, natural and flawless products. We make the next generation in natural beauty products that really work and your skin will love. Harnessing the power and beauty of nature with the strictest criteria for certified organic, natural, cruelty-free and sustainable ingredients that are proven to perform. So yeah, um, the products are also vegan. And then I also got the micellar water. Oh, I got a powder brush. The brush looks really, really soft. And then I got the Curvy Lash Mascara, which is perfect because I actually need a mascara right now. So this has come in 
perfect tan. Finally, we have the lip glaze. Interesting, it's like a bronzy shade. Can you see the shade? It's like bronzy. Quite like it. It looks really natural. It's not sticky or anything, so it's a good everyday lip gloss. Next product is from Joe Loves, and as far as I'm aware, Joe Loves is created by um, the woman who created Jo Malone. So I'm very, very excited about this. First product which I got is the body lotion. I think I feel like I've had quite a few body lotions recently, and um, I love lotions during summer because they tend to be lighter they're still really hydrating they're lighter than a cream so it's better for really hot weather so yeah let me just try a little bit of this on my hand and oh that smells good this is in the scent pomelo oh my gosh that is the most incredible smell. One of the most incredible smells. It's like citrus. He it's like citrus heaven. Wow. You need to try this. I forgot to show you the packaging. So this is what the bottle looks like. And then I also got the hand sanitizer and hand lotion duo in the same scent. <gasps> I'm so glad that I also got the perfume because, gosh, the hand lotion smells smells so incredible that if I didn't get this, I would have gone and bought it anyway because, wow. I love citrusy, fresh scents, so this is right up my street. And this is the bottle. It's really simple, very simple, elegant bottle. Not too much. If you have a Joe Loves store, go in there and try the scent. You have to try it because it is so citrusy fresh. I've never smelled a perfume which is just citrus. In this box for one product and it's the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. There we go, that's the packaging. That's the bottle there. And you guys already know, I'm sure you guys already know from my skincare video and also my last vlog that I love the Estee Lauder um, Night Midnight Recovery, Advanced Midnight Recovery. I absolutely love it and uh, it's just incredible. I noticed, I physically noticed the difference when I'm using it and when I'm not using it. Um, and I remember asking you guys for recommendations maybe like six months ago about night serums and a lot of you guys recommended that one and also this one here. So now that I have a full bottle of the Estee Lauder, I kind of want to compare it with this one here. So I bought this one the other day on Look Fantastic. I used my own discount code. I'll leave my discount code in the description box because, um, I mean, why, why would you not want 20% off? Why would you not want 20% off? I will report and compare the two. Next package, I already know, is from Dermalogica. This is the box. There we go. Very nice. I love the colour. So this is the Daily Milk Folian. I use the Exfolian. I keep it in my shower. And it's just a really good light but gets the job done. Um, exfoliator I love that it doesn't feel harsh or abrasive so I'm quite excited to use this it's a vegan milky powder exfoliant with oat with oats and coconut activates upon contact with water releasing botanical extracts to help polish away dead skin cells but yeah this is what it looks like inside the box you've got the product there let's get into the goodies which i got from the blogosphere beauty creator show so i'm going to go in this bag first first thing which i got is oh a notebook from sync vault there we go so for any creators out there, I feel like Sync Vault is going to be a platform which is going to be really helpful. Sync Vault rewards content creators for adding great claim free music to their content. So they're basically a platform where you can get great music, put it on your Instagram content, YouTube content, and it's all copyright free. Not sure what's going on. And it's all copyright free. Um, I'll leave a link in the description box. 
um, where you can find out more about them. So yeah, I got a notebook from them. I also got a water bottle, you know? Oh, there we go. And then I also got a little flask. These flasks are really useful for super hot weather or super hot weather when you want to keep your drink cold or in winter when you want to keep your drink warm. And it's so small that it'll fit into most of your bag. The first box which I'm going to be showing you is from a brand called Agora. And honestly, my friend just kept telling me about Agora, about she just kept telling me to sign up. She's like, you can try so many full size product sample them out and it's also a platform where if you're really into skincare you can you can share your reviews um as a creator you don't have to have a huge following or anything and i think they allow you to create commission as well so if you're into beauty and skincare then definitely check out agora they do monthly skincare boxes so yeah it's amazing and this is what the box looks like so this is what the inside of the box looks like and if you were to subscribe you would get full size products like this. First product I've got is the Decree Revitalizing Eye Mask. The next product which we've got is the By B Beauty Milk Melt Vegan Oat Cleanser. The next product we've got is the This Works Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. There we go. And the next product is the Pericone md no rinse exfoliating peel and this is what it looks like and then we have the skin sense hydrant energizing face mask and then the last product within this box is the philip kingsley restoring conditioner I actually think I might have a full size of this already, but I'm not too sure. So you can get £5 off your first order if you use the code BLOGGER5. So, and that ends on the 31st of August 2022. And then in the second bag, we also have another box from Agora. But before I show you that, um, ooh. Grace Victory. I have watched her. I don't even know if she does YouTube anymore, but um, back in the day, I used to watch Grace and her fashion videos. She's an OG YouTuber, and yeah, she's gorgeous. She looks amazing. So, this is the second Agora box, and this is what it looks like inside. First product I'm going to be showing you is the Rodeo Cleansing Balm. The next product which I'm going to be showing you is the Christophe Robin Color Shield Shampoo. Next we have the Nip and Fab Glycolic Acid Scrub. And then we have the Emma Hardy Protect and Prime SPF 50. I think this is just a sample but good to take on holiday. And then we have the Percy and Reed Hold It Right There Hairspray. And then finally we have the Ultra Sun Ultra Lip SPF 30 Lip Balm. Anyway, I'll just pop all these back. I think I'm going to have to do a big beauty organise because I really want to get through and use as much of these products as possible. Um, anything that I don't use, I think I might actually do a giveaway at some point so that um, somebody's getting use out of these products. Popped into the shops today, I had a look around Primark Home, and I just had some errands to run, some returns to do. Anyway, I bought some stuff for the house, H&M Home and Primark Home. So I'm going to show you that now as well. I do understand that this vlog is going to be very long. Whenever I'm in town, I always have to pop into Primark Home. First thing I got was this little holder holder here. Um, so it's a rattan, so it's a rattan utensil holder. And if you watch my last video you would have seen that i got some utensils from amazon and i got them with the intention of getting this type of holder and yeah this is how i'm gonna display my utensils so in that video i said that i bought utensils with no intention with no intention of actually using them we're getting a shelf uh, in the kitchen which i mean i don't even know where the shelf is we ordered it like three weeks ago it's still not here so when we put up the shelf in the kitchen i'm gonna have little things which i want to display and this is gonna be one of them and then i also got this little leaf tray as well which was only three pound fifty and um we're also getting a shelf 
shelf in the hallway and I wanted to pop stuff on there. I would say keys, but um, I know it's not really safe to put your keys right in your hallway because, you know, somebody could just... Anyway, I've heard of horror stories, but we're going to put some stuff on there. And then I popped into Next Home and I picked up my favourite ever diffuser. They finally started doing refills. Um, so it's the Next Garden Terrace diffuser and I got a refill of it because I have it in this bedroom and also in the spare bedroom. I absolutely love the smell of it and I've been dying, dying to actually use it and I haven't been able to until I unbox it. So there we go. If you are ever in Next, I highly recommend you to go and check out this one. I really like the smell of it. And then from H&M Home, I got a bunch of cushions. They were doing a massive sale, well, biggish sale, and they were getting there was a lot of their cushions, which I saw full price on the website were three pounds in store. So let me show you. These are all of the cushions which I got. Step back a little bit. So first ones which I got are these ones here so it's a pack of two so you get this one here and then you also get this one and it was only five pounds five pounds i could not believe it and then i noticed that they also did it in the beige version so this is like a beigey brown yeah that's true to color there we go and this one was actually only three pounds so three pounds for two cushions so i got so excited that i bought another set so i have two of these so i have four cushions one of them i think i might even put outside um just to add to that kind of i don't know what that means but yeah and then i got two of this one can you see that i've had my eye on this cushion for such a long time and i think this one is actually on sale online but i'm not sure whether it's six pounds so yeah six pounds for that can you see that yeah six pounds for that so i got two of them and then i also had a three pound promotion because obviously i spent all my money on hm so they reward me by, by giving me three pounds off <laughs> what a great deal anyway it was actually a great deal because i managed to get even more money off of these cushions which are already heavily discounted so yeah i had to buy them i think that's it we did it yeah okay yeah that's it that was such a long unboxing i do apologize about that i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed this whole vlog i thoroughly enjoyed filming it i feel like i was a bit negative and a bit down at the beginning of the vlog but i've turned it around and yeah i've had a really good week um so yeah i'll catch you all in my next vlog bye